actually in the shoe business for about 27 years, but about 10 years ago I decided to um, start my own company here in the U.S. and actually manufacture shoes in the U.S., which was actually something that um, there wasn't really any shoe factories left, so um, it was a big challenge and a risk. And uh, I ended up quitting the corporate American jobs and renting out half my house and divorcing, and it was just like, I've got to start. I've got to do something for myself. And, um, and I found this vintage belt, and it had some, you know, some stud work and some rhinestones on it, and I'm like, oh my god, this belongs on a shoe. And so I kept, I didn't even wear the belt, I just like, foot, on my foot, on my foot. <laughs> and um, so anyhow, I quit my job, took a part-time job, as I said, downscaled my life, and found this little teeny factory in Sun Valley. Um, actually, there was still a few factories, but they were all like, uh, kind of, you know, old men that were shoemakers at one point and smoking cigars and like basically playing cards with a couple of machines on the side. <laughs> so uh, and none of them believed in me. They thought I was nuts. And, and, uh, but I did find one, one person, this man Garo, to believe in me. And so we started making shoes and I basically just put it on my credit card and made three styles of shoes. They were the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. And I took them over to Madison and, and, and Beverly Hills and, and bought them all. And I was just like, okay. So I took the money and went back. And that's how I started. And I worked out of my garage for or my shipping room and all that stuff. And slowly but surely after, you know, throughout the years, we just I mean, took off in major success. We, right now, we're selling about 200 of the best stores throughout the world. So we've always had an international business for years. And um, I opened my store about five Five years ago, I'd say. So this is uh, my first of uh, possibly more signature stores. And um, we uh, now have moved from the garage and <laughs> the laundry room to uh, in a nice you know, factory in North Hollywood. We employ about, 40, about 42 to 45 employees. And we do everything under one roof. I um, make everything from scratch. Um, it'd be interesting if you guys ever wanted to come and do a tour at the factory because it's pretty cool. Um, all the woods, I, I don't, I make pretty much all my components. I don't, um, I don't buy them and assemble them. We, uh, we hand sculpt them like this is plywood. This actually comes in four by six sheets of half inch plywood that we laminate together into blocks and then we draw the, the pattern of the wood and they get band sawed and then by freehand they get hand sanded and hand sculpted. Um, so, and the, the uh, I mean, they're, they're quite extraordinary. We use recycled plywood Sorry. and I also use alder wood. Here you see, you can see alder wood with plywood with alder wood. But back in the 70s, California was known for um, sculpting, sculpting woods. And so I'm bringing back a lost art, and it's pretty, pretty incredible. I, I have to say I'm the only one in the world that can do what I do. Um, all the shoes, too. Comfort super important for me. I love fashion, but comfort is really critical. And so I've um, got padded insoles and in all my heels. All the woods have been hollowed out if there's if it has a wood heel. Um, my sandals. If we move over here. There's EVA foam in the midsole, so it actually, I take it to the next level, has like a little dense wow. cushion. This will last you like the next 10 years. You can wear these from morning to night. Your feet are never um, compromised with, uh, you know, not being comfortable. And then the artwork, you know, is really one of my signatures. And um, my artists, most of my artists have been with me for about, gosh, some of them up to 10 years. And all the hardware is actually solid nickel or solid brass, and we get it, we get it in, it's really shiny looking, uh, bright color, we put it in a solution, and then we blow torch it to make it more of a vintage feel. And then, um, this is all done by freehand, so it's hand kit pressed in one by one by one. So, this artwork is all done by freehand, and it's really hard to actually knock me off because um, and it's done out there, cause, but it's so expensive because like they're going to do it in China, they have to do huge presses and you know, invest 
millions of dollars. But we just, we do all this kind of work and we're always, you know, it's, it's pretty extraordinary actually. You won't really see anyone that does that. I also developed a lot of my own studs. All the staples is um, exclusive to, to my brand. Hello, this so, is Laura Clark from LA Story. And um, I wanted to ask you, how do you balance motherhood with being an entrepreneur and um, you know, owning your own business in LA? Yeah, well, you know, I have to tell you, it's one of the reasons why I've decided to be dedicated to manufacturing here in the US is because I do have two children. And when I started my company, I was um, going through a divorce and they were two and four. So, and I was a single mom and my children are my most important priority. And so that's why I quit the corporate jobs and decided to start my own business to um, be able to spend more time with my kids, and I do. I've ha I have a complete lifestyle. I go to work in the morning. I can work out. I go to work, and I come home by four o'clock to pick up the kids. And oh, it's like perfect. so. It's been very balanced, actually, in running my own business and not having to answer to anybody. Right. Um, really creates the kind of life that I want. That's great. So, um, do you have any favorite? places you like to take them in the um, city? Well, my kids right now are 14 and 16. Uh -huh. so, so they're <laughs> going to their own places. Driving, uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, we um, actually, I have, um, I built a home, um, a retreat center up in Ojai. So wow. we spend a lot of time up in the mountains there. And nice. it's really gorgeous. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This is a great shop. Thank you.